I was at a writing retreat all weekend, and I'm exhausted. Okay, so we're talking about um, projects that we abandoned, trunked, gave up for dead, etc., um, which I think is actually a really interesting topic to hear writers talk about because I assumed before I was published that published authors didn't have projects that they had to walk away from because they couldn't make them work. That was just those of us that were unpublished. Um, but now that I have a book out, <laughs> I realize that I, too, um, am now one of those published authors that has books that uh, just didn't work and, and had to be put away. Um, I have a couple of novels that I've finished that are sort of sitting in a drawer waiting for the right time to make their sparkly debut in the world. And um, I have a couple of books that I started but only wrote maybe a chapter and some outline that I want to get to one day. But I don't think that quite fits uh, what we're going for this week. Um, but I do have one novel that I started years ago, actually before I started writing YA, that um, is never, ever, ever going to be picked up again. Uh, my first novel, I think I've said before, was a adult, like, chiclet book. And when that was, uh, when I was querying agents with that book, I started to write another one. And it was sort of like an amalgam of very strange ideas. I wanted to do something about a girl who's obsessed with Cary Grant movies and is looking for, like, the perfect Cary Grant boyfriend. Um, and then meanwhile, um, it's set against this backdrop of, like, journalism and the crab fishing industry in Dutch Harbor, Alaska. Not that I have ever been there. I have, however, watched a lot of episodes of Deadly's Catch, and I actually bought like five or six books about not only the area, um, but life in, in Dutch Harbor and the Aleutian Islands, and maybe a couple of first-hand accounts of being a crab fisherman. I know. I'm a research nerd, though, so that's not unusual. Anyway, I got about like 20,000 words into this book and realized that there was absolutely no reason why the two main characters shouldn't just jump into bed, be done with it, and live happily ever after. Um, that's called no plot. And at 20,000 words and there's no plot, it's sort of time to stick that book in a drawer and move on. Thankfully, that decision came at about the same time that I was getting a lot of feedback from agents telling me that I really should maybe consider writing YA. And this book clearly was never going to be a YA novel, so into the proverbial drawer it went, where it will stay until I decide to cannibalize certain parts of it for another book someday. <laughs> um, that book was called Looking for Cary Grant or a Reasonable Facsimile, and it will never ever be at a bookstore near you. <laughs>